In this video, we are going to learn how to find the rate of chemical reaction. But first, what is the rate of chemical reaction? It is the change in concentration of reactant and products per unit of time. And it's expressed commonly in molarity per second. We need to measure change in concentration of at least one reactant or product as a function of time experimentally, like for example by using spectroscopy, polarimetry, etc. Let's take a look at this plot. We have concentration over time. As you can see, as the reaction proceeds, the simpler reaction here, the concentration of the reactants decreases, the concentration of the products increases over time. Let's take a look at this example to fully understand the rate of a chemical reaction. Express the rate of the reaction in terms of the change in the concentration for each of the reactant and products. We have this reaction that is already balanced. First, we are going to write the reactant that is minus 1 over 2 change in concentration of HPR and uh, hydrogen bromide and uh, divided by an interval of time. We have this minus sign here, be careful, because we are dealing with reactants and the reactant concentration decreases over time as the reaction proceeds. That's why we add min minus, because uh, we want the rate to be positive by convention. This 2 here is the stoichiometric coefficient in the balanced equation, because the rate we want the rate to be equal for each component of the same reaction, by respecting the stoichiometry of the reaction, is equal. Now, if we want to express the rate in terms of the products, in case of hydrogen, we have plus change in concentration of the hydrogen divided by the change in time. Because in this case, the concentration of the products is increasing as the reaction proceeds. Equal, again, is going to be the same for the bromine, plus change in concentration of the bromine divided by time. This is the way how we express the reaction rate for a given reaction. You have to be careful at two components, the minus sign here at the reactant and the coefficients that are going to be included when you are going to express. Even here there is a coefficient, but it's 1 over 1, uh, 1 over 1, because we have 1 here, 1 here. Okay, uh, let's move to B. In the first 30 seconds of this reaction, the concentration of HBr dropped from 0.8 to 0.5 molar. Calculate the average rate of the reaction during the interval of time, during this interval of time. Okay, what we are going to do? We are going to deal only with this part here for HBr. So the rate is going to be equal to minus 1 over 2. We have to keep in consideration this coefficient here. This factor here is going to be the delta that is here is going to be expressed in long term change in the concentration of HPR at T2 to minus change in the concentration of HPR at T1. T2 minus T1, this one. So let's place the values. So the rate is going to be equal to minus 1 over 2. T2 is 0 0.5 molar minus T1 is 0 0.8 molar as you can see from here, this minus is necessary because this difference here is negative and we want the rate to be positive. So, and we have T2 is 30 seconds minus T1 that is 0 seconds at the beginning of the reaction. So, the rate is going to be equal to what? 0 0.005 molarity per, per second. This is the average rate of this reaction at this interval of time. Let's move now to C. If the volume of the vessel in part B was 2 liter, what amount of bromine in moles was formed during the first 20 seconds of the reaction? What we are going to do now? Now we need rate equal to change in the concentration of the bromine divided by time, and here is plus, because it's a product. What do we have? The rate corresponds to every component of the reaction. So we have the rate, we have change in time, we need first change in the concentration of the bromine. So change in concentration of the bromine is equal to rate multiplied by change in time. So change of in the concentration of bromine is equal to rate that is 0 0.005 
molarity per second multiplied by time. Change in time is 20 seconds because T1 is 0, T2 is 20 seconds. So it's 20 seconds. Second with second simplify. What we are going to have? Change in concentration of bromine is going to be equal to what? 0, 0 0.1 molar. Now we know we want the number of moles. So the number of moles of the bromine because we have the volume of the container that is 2 liter. This 2 liter container contains 0 0.1 molar concentration of the bromine. Be careful here because this is the concentration of bromine at 20 seconds minus concentration of bromine at 0 seconds. At 0 seconds this was a product so the initial concentration is 0 as a product because the reaction has not proceeded. So the only thing that remains here is the concentration after 20 seconds, that is 0 0.1 molar. So we know that concentration is number of moles divided by the volume. So the number of moles of the bromine is going to be equal to 0 0.1 mole per liter, that is the concentration, multiplied by 2 liter container. So liter with liter simplify and is 0 0.2 mole. This is the number of moles of bromine after 20 seconds of the reaction that has proceeded. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope it was a little bit helpful to understand the rate of the reaction. And see you in the next one. Peace.